Anna, we are going to shoot this video for you. Uh, got your bike up on the lift and just going to do a quick report on your bike. Don't have the key, uh, so there's a lot of things that I can't do, that, but there's also a lot of things that I can do. So I figured when you arrive here with the key, we'll put it in and we'll just confirm a couple things. Uh, I would have wanted to, with the key being here, plug my computer into your bike, go through the uh, computer on the bike to see if there's any stored error codes, clear those out, just sort of see you know what the history of the bike has been. Uh, can't do that without the key, so we're just gonna carry on with what I can report on here and now. Uh, these tires are three years old, and the front tire is uh, wearing a little bit close to the end of its life. There's still tread left there, but uh, it's wearing evenly, and I'll show you a little bit of minor cracking. Actually, I can go around this side. There's a little bit of minor cracking on this tire, uh, just here, you can look right there, you can see. It's not imperatively dangerous, it's not, in, you know, it's just annoying that a three-year-old tire is showing these signs. Um, there's still tread left there, in my opinion, at the new owner's discretion. You can tell them to pound sand or you can offer to take a few bucks off the selling price because the tires are close to done, but that's, that's you know, that's whatever. Um, did I mention the brake pads? 55, 60% life left and they are wearing evenly. They're organic. This is good. Um, snug up these lights as you asked me to and also check the oil. Oil is good. In my opinion, the oil is dirty, but it does not need to be changed. Not yet at least. I would... Actually, I'm not going to comment on what kind of mileage you're going to get left on it. I'm just going to say that the oil is good. Yes, it's dirty, but it does not need to be changed. That's that's my that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, rear brake pads are at about 38, maybe 40% life left. They are also organic, and they are also wearing evenly. Rear tire has lots of life on the sides. You actually spend zero time on the sides, but right smack down the middle, you can tell that the tread, which is still there, is, you know, sort of being worn down. So, mm, at, again, it's whatever you want to do. Chain and sprockets, you mentioned that there is rust on the chain, and you're right, it's absolutely there. Um, it is nothing more than just unsightly. It doesn't affect how the chain will last. It doesn't affect how the chain will perform. It just doesn't look good. So for selling the bike, you may want to get in there with a scrubby brush and clean it all off and get it tidied up nice. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't affect how the chain will perform. Your brake oils uh, are an absolute fail. Check this one and it is a fail. And I also checked your front brake oil and it is also a fail. Um, after that, that's about all that I can sort of check uh, without the key. Uh, you would have reported to me if there was something obvious uh, wrong with it because you rode the bike here and it rode nicely according to you. I checked the voltage on the battery off this little dingleberry and voltage looks good. So. I don't know what the no start issue is or was with your bike, but uh, from this report, without a key, without checking lights, camera action, all that stuff, um, your bike is good. That's all I got for you. Talk to you soon.